Welcome back. We have Lance Yamato joining us for Tech Talk. What are you doing? This is that cool remote for that TV. Oh, yeah. that we're going to be checking out. Doesn't it look like a Wii remote? Mm, it does a little bit. Yes, so it's really user friendly because actually you just point to the TV mm -hmm. and you don't have to go and, you know, spell out things and that stuff on the keyboard because that kind of gets to be a pain. It does. With this, you just, just like your mouse. Really? Very simple. And if you can't get that, then you just hit the uh, record button here or the mic and you can say CFJC TV. Which, of course, would be your first choice. Yeah, and it would actually come right up. Perfect. Cool, eh? Very cool. Yeah. So we're checking out the 55-inch uh, OLED LG TV today. What makes this special? Uh, brand new this year. And they, what they did is they pushed in some HDR um, concept. And all the TV companies are kind of doing this HDR. It's a high dynamic range, which allows you to get more of a real picture. And where the dark levels are in the TV, mm -hmm. if there's a dark scene, the HDR actually brings more white level, and you actually can see really, really well. It's really more defined. It's tighter. Um, nothing's buried at all. Mm -hmm. And then when you can put it in an LG OLED TV, I mean, that's best of the best. That's, that's the, best the best black levels. So then you have the best white levels with the HDR on top of it. You have the thinnest TV. It's a sexy TV, and it's uh, here for this year. Okay, well, we have a video. Let's take a look. Yeah, so high dynamic range. So they're talking about improving the light source and then actually the white levels. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you're not nothing's buried. You can see everything. So when it comes to 4K now, which is a big push, mm -hmm. now you have HDR, high dynamic range on top of it. Um, you, you've got the best of the best, right? Instead of having a good TV, now you've got you know an incredible TV. Probably but do the you best need picture to have anything world. at home to make this as good as it can be? Like, well, do you have to have other uh, things? Well, for the like 4K, you need a 4K box, right? Okay. Whether it's optic TV and, and uh, or the satellite box and that stuff. Mm -hmm. So all you do is just replace the box, right? That signal's coming into the house. Mm -hmm. That's your standard signal. You just gotta replace the box, and then you get your 4K. Um, a lot of the DVDs or a lot of the Blu-ray movies and that stuff all become 4K, right? We'll have HDR embedded in that. So once again, you get best of the best. But it makes you also, you have to buy a, a 4K Blu-ray player too, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Well, see, this is it. You have to sort of have all the little different things to go with. Exactly. That's the electronics world, right? It is. They want you to buy the next and greatest thing because if you don't, then you don't get to see the vision of what this is supposed to actually look like and that stuff. So if you were to compare this to a regular TV, you would, you would absolutely put it side by each and say that is completely superior. Night and day. Yeah, if you came into the store, you would actually see there's no comparison, right? It's, it's the best picture in the world. Um, Pioneer Elite came out with that plasma a long, long time ago, I think uh, at least uh, 15 years ago, and it was a $6,000 TV, and it was only a 40-inch, but the black levels were what sold that plasma, and everybody just wanted it. So this black level is probably uh, darker than the Pioneer Elite. Mm -hmm. So this is the best of the best. So when you get that, and you get a really dark picture, you add the HDR, add the 4K, Right? Dolby Vision is just a whole bunch of testing. They've gone through a bunch of tests. Only so many TV companies can have uh, Dolby Vision as well. Then um, that wow factor is, is there. You can mm -hmm. see it. And would it be wasted to get anything smaller than a 55 inch? No, because you know what? Most living rooms, uh, everybody's uh, either going 55. That's the common size. Mm -hmm. But remember that uh, the TV lasts, you know, at least uh, you know, at least, I'd say, almost 15 years mm -hmm. on the panel life. So make sure that if you can go a bigger size, you would, right? Go to 60 inch, because it's not not much more between 55 and 60, mm -hmm. right? Because the picture's gonna last a long, long time. Should the average TV last 15 years? Yes, the new technology, yes, because but it's all digital. But who keeps them 15 years? Do a lot of people keep? Well, there, you know, some people that still probably keep them, you know, in their cabins or whatever, and they'll keep them for a long, long time mm -hmm. until it dies out, right? Mm -hmm. But then there's a lot of people that want the latest and greatest and keep on going. Mm -hmm. And probably the average consumer probably replaces a TV maybe five, six years mm -hmm. and keeps the other TV and put, just puts it downstairs or sure. gives it to the kids or, you know, whoever else needs a TV. Mm -hmm. And then um, and then you get the latest and greatest. Mm -hmm. yeah. So people can come in and check out the 55-inch. It's, yeah, it's on, on the display wall. and ready yeah. to go. It's got it's got uh, CFJC TV on it. It kind of looks it, does. it looks really good. You look really good on it. Thank you. I'm gonna and come in and check it come out. Come check it out. And you're going wow. I'm gonna that make sure. Is a wow factor. <laughs> Not about midday, but just make sure it's on CFJC. <laughs> <laughs> Lance, thank you for being here today. Thank you. If you'd like to check out this TV, you can absolutely head down to Andre's info on the screen. We're back after a quick break. Stay with us.